morning guys got up a little extra early and drove about 50 miles to a new area an area that we were we hunted a little bit last year um it's got a lot of walk-in and so i just dropped josh off about uh 15 miles to my south he's gonna go check out some new country i saw a lot of deer i didn't film them i'm sorry but a ton of whitetail kind of near the ag we're gonna kind of head more towards the coolies i got a sweet little glassing spot over here that's not going to be facing directly into the sun that's important and i'm just gonna set up shop and glass see if i can put a couple of muley bucks to bed and make a stock that's what i would like over here in this ag area i'd love to set up a ground blind for the evenings and kind of do like a dual threat so right now we're at a walk-in i'm going to start hiking in right now and uh, see how far we can get and what we can turn up got the phone scope with me so if i see a buck you will too let's go i didn't know that i would find a bunch of democrats out here in south dakota Ag behind me. There's a place to put a ground blind at a watering hole that the, there's a pile of deer at. I saw a coyote chase an antelope fawn forever. Like they ran for three miles and they actually came around this butte. And I got a, I don't know if I got it on video, but I glassed it and the antelope was bleeding, not on its flank, but like mid body. I was like, oh no. So that, uh, that coyote never did catch catch it but that thing was wounded um hope it makes it but um you know it's tough to root for the bad guy but uh everyone's got to eat so anyways um uh, i'm gonna keep filming hopefully we can find a shooter buck i'm pretty uh, encouraged at this spot the suspenders are on we are getting serious and yeah just spent the first couple of days scratching the surface seeing a lot of activity and just trying to put those pieces together and get some a stock in. Stock in per day is is kind of my goal. One stock every day. And I think uh, if I can do that, I'll go home happy and hopefully with a cooler full of meat. So we're gonna get back to this glassy knob I'm really excited about. It's the best spot that I found last year. I got that going for me. Appreciate you guys for watching, hanging with us, and uh, you know, Dan's kind of got this wild eye in his look, which typically means something's gonna happen. I can't make any promises, but we're gonna try hard. That's the promise I'll make. Hey, I got a buck feed in my direction. He's just over that hill. And I got this little ravine here. And then I got another creek bed over here. So basically, I'm gonna see what he does, and then we'll try to get something together. But he's just kind of meandering, feeding my direction. So, who knows? But this is this is a good sign. I just got back to where I wanted to be. I'm not even, I can still get further back on, on a prime time glassing spot, but I just crested the hill and found this buck. Well, that was that. Uh, I got up high to try to get some footage and a better glassing vantage. And I think he probably skylined me, which is a rookie mistake. I don't know. I thought, I thought I was under the skyline, but I must not have been, because he looked up and he was 500 yards away, and he was uncomfortable with what he saw, and he didn't sprint off, so that's a good thing. He's still on public. I, I got this kind of next spot. It's just down the creek bottom, but um, that opportunities kind of come and go, so we'll just keep, and we'll just keep creeping. Crossed up a lot of deer. I haven't seen one, two, three, four, five, about five different bucks. The best being the furthest away. Of course, they look good when they're walking away from you, but 
I did get one bedded. He actually got up to rebed, fed a little, dug out his bed, and he's by himself. So I just crossed this series of gullies and I'm hugging it. It's on the other side. I got a wind that kind of switched. Now it's kind of coming out of the north. And I'm just going to try to get around him. And it looks like I can sneak in to a really close shot. So we'll see. I'm not very good at mule deer hunting, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, a little update here from South Dakota. This is where I was standing. This is where the buck was bedded looking away. When I got here, I realized I was way closer than I thought. So I went back to here and I adjusted my dial to 20, hooked on, turned, and now I can see his head was looking my way. I got a good wind and I was just like, okay, he just turns his head and looks back. I'm good, but he never did. He stood up, I pulled back, and he bolted. So this is called getting too close. Um, still working on my mule deer game. Got a long ways to go, but that's a 13 yard shot, almost. All right guys, I just spotted a buck back here. A nice buck, 661 yards. He slipped behind this dip, and I kind of lost him maybe 20 minutes ago and I'm pretty sure he's bedded in there and I've actually had some of my best luck in here it's just when they do that is like still hunting my way in there not knowing exactly where they're bedded but just be having a good idea and slipping in so I'm gonna try that play and uh, yeah wish me luck Well, that's a stock. It, uh, I didn't have a lot of light and I'm a long way from the road, so I just wanted to make a play. It could have worked, but it, it was kind of a long shot and it didn't work. It just didn't work. Uh, the, deer, the, uh, the mule deer were too far away when I crested the hill and I just didn't have any topography to hide between me and them, so. Got this sunset. South Dakota sunsets are awesome. So we'll walk it out and that's a wrap on today. But I think we got good news from Dan. I think so. I'll let him tell you more about that.
down. I don't know if you guys got that on camera or not, but just shot him for 25 yards. He's down. I just saw him go down. Whew, that was a cool looking buck, man. Go check him out. I didn't see that other deer until I shot. Didn't know that deer was there. Oh man, that was so cool. What a cool morning. Two stalks. First one got too close. <laughs> I'm uh, 15 yards from a, a really nice 4 by 4 And then this one. I'm pretty sure he's done. Shot him in his bed, but it was a good steep angle. Should have got both long. So hopefully we'll go find that arrow. Back. Okay, guys. In shed hunting, they always say ATL as they lay. It's how they found the sheds. This is my arrow ATL. This is how I found it after the shot today. Stick it in the ground like that. It was a steep angle. We got. I think we're gonna go look for this buck. We'll probably find him. Grim Reaper. Michael Hades three blade. Should be a fast recovery. Doesn't that look proper? You can see the blood. Okay, so I shot him in his bed right here. I was right there, 25 yards deep downhill. You saw the arrow. He actually got shot and ran uphill. There he is. Big buck down, folks. How cool is that? All right, guys. I'm tagged out in South Dakota. This is day three. Packed camp up last night in the dark. Drove 50 miles to the Badlands area that I knew about, and this place was awesome. It did not disappoint. Uh, it was about two and a half mile hike to this glassing spot. Sat there for quite a while. Picked out that tall, narrow buck. Kind of liked him, actually, uh, and then was just patient. Waited, and then we got that one big 4x4, four four, well, big for here. We put him to bed and made a sick stock on him. I actually was second guessing myself. I'm like, is this where he was? Because I was so close and I didn't see him and I was about to give up and I peeked over the edge and there he was. And had my bow been set to 20, I would have pulled back and shot him. He was looking away. Um, but I just turned my head and slid to 20, looked back and he was already 180 looking my way and I was like, dang it. And so I was just keeping tension. I couldn't pull back. And I was like, if he just looks away, he's dead. And he just got up and I pulled back and he took off and uh, I was bombing but I just went up and over the next goalie this goalie I actually skirted around I didn't even look into this one I was making that stock so once I blew that I was like well I should I should check back in here so I creeped around and I saw this guy bedded with another uh, buck and the buck was above him and the buck saw me he got up and took off he didn't know that happened so he was just hanging out there. I was able to get up right above him and shoot him downhill. This is my arrow. And it was just a straight down through him shot. He went 100 yards um, for that. But yeah, man, super stoked, super blessed. Now the work begins. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us for this Mule Deer mini series. Hopefully you had as much fun watching it as we did making it. 
Spoiler alert, nothing else was harmed in the making of this series. So we're gonna drive back to Washington State, but we still have Washington Whitetail tags. Thanks for hanging out with us. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. We're trying to push it to 100K subs this year. We're bringing you regular weekly content. We are signing off from South Dakota. We will catch you back here for the next one.